Okay, now got another suspended mark. Let's see if this one hits. Yep. Go. A little better. A little better. Woo wee! Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I are up here in the north woods of Wisconsin and we are gonna be doing some ice fishing. Goal for today is to get on some panfish. We are targeting crappies and uh, we're out here on some sketchy ice. It is early. We just got on ice on a few other lakes. This lake we have not been to yet, but there's ice. As you can see, I've got a completely, well, mostly frozen lake behind me here. And uh, today we're going to be sticking to the shallows, trying to find some eager crappies that are ready to rip. Let's go ahead, grab all of our gear. We're going to get out there, start punching some holes. Let's see if we can get some crappies topside. So in the last video that we were at, uh, we were on safe ice. Um, we have seen some comments saying, you know, the water coming through the hole, all that, you know, obviously it's not supposed to be doing that. We were on very thin, but good clear ice. Now the lake that we're at today is about, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes south of the lake that we were filming at the other day. So uh, more south usually generally means it's gonna be warmer. And we still gotta check to make sure this ice is safe. Now it is like 42 degrees out also. So um, we're also here to prove that just because it is 40 degrees, you're only getting that temperature for like an hour or two during the day. Still cold at night. So go ahead, spot out. You tell I'm not going through it right away. We'll go out here, get off the shoreline a little bit. Go ahead and chisel you guys a piece of ice to show you just what we're working with here. So, go ahead, pick up this. You can see, well, it kind of busted from me chiseling it, but we probably got like a good two and a half, I would say maybe three i don't know hard to tell but for sure enough ice for us to get out here and uh walk on it that is the best ice that you could uh, possibly find it doesn't look great because it's snow covered so you obviously still have to have your chisel checking every single step some of it does look a little interesting around the shoreline so probably avoid those areas but the last time i was at this lake last year we found a lot of crappies like shallow like shoreline 10 feet off in the trees shallow so i don't know we're gonna have to probably walk a little bit further chisel some holes get the live scope out and see if we can catch some crappies Let's go ahead, chisel our first hole, and see what we're working with here. A decent amount of ice. Yeah. I think there's actually more over here than there was at the landing. I think there was two. What do you think we're working with? There's over two inches, that's for sure. That's it. At least the two snow and a half probably maybe. happened like last night. Yeah, I was a little nervous when we first got here seeing the snow because typically you don't want snow covered ice because then it gets slushy it insulates it and it just doesn't make for the best ice but i think this snow actually just drifted in last night either from the wind or maybe just a dusting that we got so i don't know if you can see behind me or not but we do have a difference in snow covered ice versus ice that is not snow covered and behind me if i turn it around here this is what i was talking about you see this tree right here right where probably like Oh, that went through really quick. That did go through a little bit easier. Okay, so yeah. So probably about where he's gonna go is probably as far as we're gonna go here. But you can tell that tree goes from the shoreline down, probably somewhere around here. And we're literally just gonna punch holes up along the shoreline here, right in the trees. I know it sounds crazy. It's probably only like, I don't know, six to 10 feet of water right here. And these crappies kind of just patrol the shoreline. At least the last time I was here, they did that. So go ahead, have Brandon chisel a hole. I'm gonna get the live scope out. We're gonna stop talking and hopefully get on a bunch of fish. Well, first hole, that one that Brandon chiseled, we go ahead and just drop down 12 feet of water right now. 
and I was marking some fish. I got one that is about eight feet away right now. Probably coming out of that tree. I got two of them. Still a little ways away, but it's gonna be hitting it on the spot here, hoping to get them in. They're about two feet away. Let's see if one wants to hit. All right, this one's turning into a bigger mark. He's about a foot away now. First one of the day. Let's go. Doesn't feel bad. There we go. First crappie. There are actually quite a few of them down there. Probably like a nine inch or so. Yeah, I probably got like five crappies on me right now. Okay. The tree. I know it sounds weird because I don't normally fish crappies this way, but first one of the day. Man, that is great. So what I am using, bait of choice, you guys probably saw us use this a lot last year, but this is what I'm going to be using right now. This is the Frostbite Dinner Bell. This is the smallest size that they make. Um, it is not tungsten, but basically this goes down and it flutters when you rip it because it's got this little bell here in the middle. And let me tell you, if you guys can get a hold of one of these, you are definitely going to catch crappies. This is probably one of my go-to crappie baits. Almost at any lake, you can drop this down untipped and you are going to get fish. And for the rod, if you guys are interested, I'm using the Fantastic. This is a 29 inch ultralight from Frostbite. And the thing I love about this is the fact that I can be versatile with it. I can catch bluegill, I can catch crappie. And as you can tell from that one, um, it fully loads up. So you're able to absorb those head shakes and uh, catch a lot of fish with it. So that's the setup right now. Got the first crappie already on the ice. Not a bad one to start. The marks that I did have are gone, but they like to cruise like I was saying. So we're just gonna sit in this hole and wait for them to notice this dinner bell and come on back. Let's see if this guy's interested. Oh yeah, he's raising up. Keep coming up. Oh yeah, right on me. Right below me. Here he comes. Got him. There we go. First one. Decent little guy there. There we go. First fish on the old dinner bell. I switched over. Originally started with just a jig and a plastic. Switched over to the dinner bell. Golden color. Nice fish. There we go. Hook comes out. Go ahead. Send him back. See you later, buddy. Come on. I know one of you guys want this. Come on, get up here. Here he comes. There we go. Not huge, but decent little crappie. Super dark in this lake, super dark. Get a release on him. See, buddy, there was a couple of them. That wasn't the big mark that I wanted. But that's okay. There's another fish in the area, I see it. Gotta hurry up, there's another one. Come on. Nice thing about using the dinner bell and not tipping it, you don't have to worry about anything getting ripped off, any plastic or any wax worm, anything like that. You just quick get it out. Drop her back down. Come on, you're right under it. Just do it. Just hit it. I don't know why you haven't. Oh, the one from the right's getting serious. Oh, the one from the right's really getting serious. Okay. Show the other ones how to do it. There we go. Oh my God. And it was tiny. This one coming above me, look at that. Raised it up, he saw me, closing the gap. There's two of them. It's right there. Got him. Hey, little buddy. All right. Another one on the old dinner bell. Just a little guy, probably about 
six and a half inches. Toss them back. They're such a little crappie. He crushed that thing, that's for sure. Suspended mark, Let's see if this one hits. Yep, there we go. A little better. A little better. Oh, that one's better. There we go. Just munched the dinner bell. Beautiful crappie. That one's probably, uh, I don't know, 10, 11 incher. Nice, healthy fish. I am gonna toss this one in our little net that uh, we have i can show you guys in a second here um, probably not going to keep fish but we do keep some fish for thumbnails for you guys to see so go ahead put that in the net here and uh keep fishing got a nice one look at that, that is a nice one look at that oh man look at that dinner bell oh yeah they are loving it silver and pink haven't used this color before but man i tell you what i probably already caught like I don't know, six, seven fish on it, and they are munching it. And guys, look it. There's nothing on it. We get so many comments saying, do you guys tip your dinner bells? No, no we don't. Just put this thing on and you're gonna catch fish. And half the time, if you watch really close in our footage, um, those fish will come in and normally, you know, you gotta sit there and hit it on the spot, get that thing moving around. No, most of the time they come in, I'm just holding it as still as possible and they're still coming in and hitting it. But now that Brandon's got the big camera, I'll show you guys this net that we got here. Go ahead and set this down. So basically, we bought this thing like, I don't know, six years ago. Never really use it, but basically it's just a long net that you set into the ice hole like that. You just slide the fish in like that. And then it's got some flotation devices up here. You just kind of chill like that, and that'll keep your fish in there if you want to keep them fresh you know it's better than having a bucket it's a lot easier to roll that out than it is to carry a whole bucket and in our case just keep it uh, for some pictures but yeah that's the first nice one of the day the new lake is locked it's successful and guys it's 40 degrees out here it's sunny i am loving life we'll go ahead move down from brandon a little ways it's another down tree over here we'll go ahead and just Check this one out. Ice is definitely considerably thinner over there, as you can tell. You can tell that was probably last of freeze and snow covered, so probably didn't freeze great compared to it over here. But we'll go ahead and chisel a hole here where it is safe. No need to push it too far. And put the live scope down and see what we see. And we got is that fish right under I think we might be right on that tree. But I do believe there's fish like right under me. This hole is quite a bit deeper. Than the other hole I was at. I was in 12 feet of water back by that last tree and this one we were sitting in just about 15 feet of water and there is wood all the way to the bottom so definitely seems like a pretty good spot. I had a few marks come in as soon as I got here and now since that I have not had much. But we do have a really high mark. Wow. This thing is five feet under the ice. See if he comes and hits. Uh, he is charged up. Oh god, we're three feet under the ice. Oh my, that was a big one. Oh my god. I just ripped his face off. Oh my, that was a big crappie. Are you catching anything? Uh, no. I've had a few fish come in. I just had one come in not too long ago. It just gave me the softest little tap, but they're like not willing to commit this last like 20, 30 minutes has been brutal. Yeah, I haven't even really marked 
a single fish. I was gonna go try over here a little bit and just see if I can mark anything. I don't know. All right. Well, I've got about five, ten minutes, and I've got to get heading out. So, as I was saying, I do have a Thanksgiving dinner to go to tonight. So I'm gonna give it about five, ten more minutes. The sun is going down. Maybe we'll get lucky. We'll have a small little school of fish come through. We just need that last flurry of fish. I think Nick is gonna stay out here a little bit later than I am, but we have been going through a pretty massive lull. Hopefully things turn around here. Oh, one coming up. Come on. There we go. Got him. That's one. Oh boy. Oh. There we go. Not a bad fish. Nice one there. Sun's going down. I got about two minutes left and uh, I gotta get going because I don't want to be late to dinner, but hey, we'll take that. Probably my last fish on the old dinner bell. Go ahead and send them back. See ya, buddy. That was awesome. Woo. Maybe Nick will get into a couple before the sun goes down here. That one was aggressive. There he goes. Well, looks like it's just on me. I'm gonna stay probably just for another like 20 minutes here uh, before the sun goes down and hopefully I can catch a nice one before dark. Uh, it's been pretty hard to get a fish, but you know, I got live scope, I got a frozen lake and uh, we're just gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back over to the GoPro and see if I can make some magic happen. Oh boy, got a big suspended mark here. Come on, this could be it. And I missed him. No shot. No way. Oh. Oh my God, no way I missed that fish again. This is the same spot I missed that other big one. Oh, that's a tragedy my god well you guys that is going to conclude today's video unfortunately after brandon left i was not able to get on top of any more crappies i don't know what the heck happened but it is what it is that's fishing i'm just glad to be able to get out here early ice and catch some crappies i do have to be getting on out of here because it is getting dark and i do not want to leave the ice by myself without being able to see where i'm chiseling uh, to make sure I get back safe. So if you guys like today's video, please make sure to give it a like. Please make sure, go down in the comment section, let me know what you guys thought of today's video. I do know of some walleye lakes that are beginning to freeze, if not already froze over. So expect some walleye content coming up really soon. I do have a long break in between Thanksgiving, which by the way, if you guys are watching this, it is Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you guys are spending the holiday with all your loved ones and family and having a great day. Also, thank you guys for taking the time out of your Thanksgiving to watch this video. It means a lot to us. Um, the last couple of videos have done really well. So thank you guys for all the support. We're gonna keep on pushing out videos as much as we can. So with that being said, again, like the video, subscribe if you guys are new. I will talk to you guys on the next one, Tight Lines from NB Edits.